Didn't see you there. How's it going? As of lately, I've had people be like, Hey Queenie, how on earth do you make your icons? And it's getting kind of tiring to explain it. Like, all the time. So I figured it'd be easier for me to just show you. In a video. I can link this. Or I'll never make it. Who the fuck knows? Anyways, let's get started. Things first is your canvas size. This is where size matters. You're going to want your icons to be square, like an even square ratio of either 150 by 150 pixels or 200 by 200 pixels. I personally prefer 200 by 200 because you can get a good amount of details and it's not large by any means. If you're doing this on a mobile art program, um, I recommend looking up a website that will shrink your icons in case you can't do that yourself. Next, what you're going to do is take a clean sketch or an existing drawing of your character and size it up so that it's to their mid torso up. This way you can see their face clearly and see their body just enough so that the icon is not too, too large. This will be important later for posing. You're going to want to organize everything into free main files, which will be your base, which will include the head, the poses, and the hair. The next one will be your face, which will have the eyes, the brows, and the mouth. And then the last one will be your cover bits or your extras folder, which will include things like sweat, tears, like just these extra little details that I recommend. These will be important. So we're going to get started on the head. This will be in its own subfolder. And it won't include the neck or anything, just a plain head, no face. You can have like the ears and maybe like a hairline or something, depending on your character's hairstyle and whatever. For this one, I just start with the head and have like where her bangs will swoop over. Where you're gonna wanna make a whole new folder within base. This will be right underneath the head. This will be your poses folder. So what I really, really recommend is to make your character's poses blank. So don't draw them with any clothes at first, and you might be like, well, Queenie, why the fuck would you do that? This makes it really easy, actually, to edit outfits. I did this with Chanel's new icons, and it is a life and time saver. Please do this. Poses, I recommend these few basic ones. You're going to want a pose where your character is resting their arms at their sides. You're going to want one with their hands on their hips. If you want, you can do one where one hand is resting on one hip. This works really well for sassy or feminine characters. Um, you're also going to want one where their shoulders are raised up. That one is like an essential that I recommend. And I forgot to draw one in this one, but you're going to want one with their arms crossed. That one is a really good one. You can also add a few personal poses, like how Cody has one where he's scratching the back of his head. Elise has one where she's like holding her arms up. She's really excited. Like every character has their own personal quirks so incorporate certain poses in for those characters like it will really tell a story with that mentioned earlier we kept our poses blank so that we can change their outfits easy which is really great in case like real quick you need to make them wear like a bathing suit or you need to make them wear pajamas or anything this really does save you some time and i highly recommend it Underneath the head and the poses layer, you're going to want to make the hair layer. Now, I tend to make two to three different hairstyles. This just depends on your character's hair length, but I do recommend having one with their hair down, one with their hair like up in a bun or a ponytail. Maybe you can have one where like they have their hair half up, half down. Depends on what all your character wears, but this makes it really quick and easy to change hairstyles with each different outfit. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> but now we're getting onto the face. This can be a fairly easy part because you have three separate folders within your face for the eyebrows, for the eyes, and for the mouth. Now the eyes are probably the most quote difficult part but honestly, it's really easy if you have a program that allows you to kind of clip layers. So 
For your eyes, you'll want to keep them in separate folders. I recommend having one of your eyes wide, one of your eyes kind of lower, half lid kind of look, and then another folder with your eyes closed, one where the eyes are kind of like closed downwards and then upwards because those will give you two different vibes. Each eye folder, you're going to want to have like two layers. So the bottom layer is going to be your eye wides. The top layer is going to be the line art. And underneath, you're going to want to have a subfolder titled pupils. You're going to want to draw your pupils and merge them into each layer and copy and paste pupils so that you have one pupil and then another one. You're going to want to put that folder pupils under a clipping group and put that right over the eye whites and right under the line art so that it's very easy to kind of move that without being too concerned about that. You're going to want to copy and paste that for all the eye poses, which I really recommend and that saves you some time. So now we're getting on to the mouths. Mouths are pretty simple. You're going to want a few different styles. So you're going to want like an open smile with like the teeth open. You're going to want an open frown with the teeth open. You're going to want a closed smile. You're going to want a closed frown with the teeth closed and such. Next, you're just going to want a regular frowny face, like the mouth is not open. Same with a regular smiley face. You know, mess with a few different expressions. This one's just kind of a anything goes. You know, you can do like kissy faces. You can do like grimacing teeth showing thingy thingy. I don't know how to pronounce or fucking, I don't know. Do whatever the fuck you want for the mouths. Have a tongue out. Let's get silly. It's 2020. Nobody gives a fuck anymore. We've been in quarantine for so long. We're going mad. This tutorial's going fantastic. <laughs> Pretty much the same deal with the eyebrows. Have a pose where the brows are like raised up. Have some where they're down in like an angry or mischievous kind of look. Have one where like the brows are tense. I didn't do that one. Whatever's. Um, have one where the brows look like concerned or just don't give a fuck. Um, don't adopt a bunch of dogs that will bark while you're recording. I don't feel like re-recording this. Fuck it. If you can hear my dogs, that's a treat. Um, have a pose where the brows look curious. Whatever the fuck, man. I don't know. <laughs> Finally, this is where your extras folder comes in. You're gonna draw like sweat droplets, you're gonna draw like exclamation points, tears, whatever the fuck, like anything that will really make your expressions pop and just add that little something something. And god fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. They keep barking. <laughs> They're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. Okay, you guys can get a high quality fucking video when I get a high quality mic and a shit ton of subscribers or something. I don't know. I don't even plan on doing any more of these. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh yeah, blushing blushing's important. Add those to the face layer. Almost forgot all about that shit. Wow. Oh, there goes the train. God really fucking hates us all. Like, it's 2020. The world is under a disease. We've got, like, killer bees. The world was, like, literally on fire during, like, January and February. There's so much going on, and role-playing, honestly, is, like, such a good escape. So that's why you should make these icons, and oh look, the video is about over. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.